Okay, so in this video, we will find the following limit, and this will serve as a cautionary tale to show you that it's not because L'Hopital's rule does apply that it is a good idea to apply it. So let's first find this limit using a very simple and elementary method. As x tends to infinity, clearly both the numerator and the denominator are approaching infinity. But if we use our intuition, we know that the dominant term, the larger term, top and bottom, is x cubed. So we can tackle this limit quite easily by simply dividing top and bottom by the biggest term, which is the x cubed. So 1 over x cubed over 1 over x cubed is equal to 1. So we are not changing the expression, simply multiplying it by 1. But then, by dividing top and bottom by the dominant term, the limit will become trivial. So, if you multiply through by 1 over x cubed, well, 2x cubed over x cubed is 2, plus x squared over x cubed is 1 over x, plus 5x over x cubed is 5 over x squared, and 1 over x cubed, 1 over x cubed. Same for the denominator. Once we multiply through by 1 over x cubed, it will become quite simply 4 plus 1 over x plus 6 over x squared plus 3 over x cubed. And now if you let x tend to infinity, 1 over x, 5 over x squared, 1 over x cubed, 1 over x again, 6 over x squared, 3 over x cubed, all clearly shrink to 0. So in the end, we're left with, quite simply, 2 over 4, which, of course, simplifies to 1 half. And so you see, this is a very simple limit, as it can be tackled with a very simple uh, method, using a purely elementary uh, manipulation. Well, as we've just said, as x tends to infinity, we do have an infinity over infinity case. Well, let's see what it would happen if, instead of using this elementary solution, if we try to apply L'Hopital's rule. So we have an infinity over infinity case, we can apply L'Hopital's rule. The derivative of the numerator will be 6x squared plus 2x plus 5 plus 0, so just plus 5, over the derivative of the denominator, which will be 12x squared plus 2x plus 6. Well, if we look at the case that we're dealing with, obviously, again, as x tends to infinity, both numerator and denominator are approaching infinity. So we have yet again an indeterminate case. But as it is infinity over infinity, we can try to apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. So we differentiate the numerator, we'll get 12x plus 2 plus 0, so 12x plus 2, over the derivative of the denominator, 24x plus 2. If we look at the case we're dealing with, again, obviously, we have an infinity over infinity case. Still an indeterminate case. But, as it is still infinity over infinity, we can apply L'Hopital's rule for a third time.
Well, the derivative of the numerator is simply 12 over the derivative of the denominator, which is 24, and now the limit is trivial. 12 over 24 is a constant, and of course this is 1 half, as we had found previously. But look how much longer the solution with L'Hopital's rule is compared to our first solution using an elementary technique. Using an elementary method, as this was an elementary limit, we had a one-line solution to the limit being equal to a half. Applying L'Hopital's rule required three consecutive applications of L'Hopital's rule to attain the same answer. So clearly here, this method was far better. And I could have made this a whole lot worse. What if we increased powers of x all the way up to say 100? Then, same thing top and bottom. It would still be a purely elementary limit. We would simply multiply top and bottom by 1 over x to the 100, and we would have once again a one-line solution. If we then apply L'Hopital's rule, well, you see what happens. Every time you apply L'Hopital's rule, the highest power of x shrinks by 1. So if we had two polynomials of degree up to 100, all the way down to 1, we would have to apply L'Hopital's rule 100 times. So the lesson here hopefully is clear. When you have a limit that is elementary, even though it yields a case where you could use L'Hopital's rule, do not use L'Hopital's rule if an elementary method does apply. Always go with the elementary technique over L'Hopital's rule.